Stuck energy. Do you feel stuck energetically in your life? Well, energy is constant. It cannot be created or destroyed. It exists in all things, big and small. Energy is a neutral force. Now, it can be sped up or slowed down. The consciousness connected to the energy directs the speed and flow. You impact the energy around you through your own consciousness. Your thoughts bring in creation, connection, and evolution. If you're unconscious, the energy, the energy will bring in separation, stagnation, and destruction. So what does that tell you about energy? It tells you that you have control over the energy that you create and the energy around you. So let's start with stuck energy. You can get stuck in life cycles or become frozen in your life. You may find that you're repeating similar energies based on your own consciousness in the present moment. If you're living your life unconsciously, you may not even be aware that you're stuck. So there are several different ways that individuals become stuck, including emotional trauma. An individual that experiences emotional trauma may suppress their emotions and unresolved issues within their energetic bodies. This stagnant energy can become illness, disease, in the physical body. There's also negative thoughts. These beliefs and thought patterns can directly affect the individual's energy bodies, including their emotional, mental, and physical state of being. It's important that you become aware of the thoughts cycling through your mind. There also may be fear of change. You may be afraid to move forward or to change the current experience. Our fears block us from moving forward and having experience says outside of our daily routines. Then there's external forces. These include your relationships, your music, your movie, your reading, etc. Everything in your life can influence your thoughts, emotions, and physical health. If you spend your time watching or listening to negative influences, it'll directly impact your life. An example, spending long hours watching the news will influence your thoughts and emotions. Also, lack of love. When you do not love yourself or allow others to love you, it can create feelings of disconnection, loneliness, and despair. It's important that you make time for self-care and that you prioritize prioritize your well-being. Suppress creativity. If you do not take time to be creative and play in your life, it can have a direct impact on you. Creativity allows you to step outside of the day-to-day to bring in new ideas, perspectives, and thoughts. Then there's isolation. This can cause a feeling of separation from the world around you. It will limit your experiences and interactions with others. This approach to living will get you stuck in the energies of every day. You can sometimes get too comfortable with your everyday circumstances and experiences. When you're repeating the same day over and over again, how can you know what you're missing? So how do we break cycles? Are you ready to start breaking some cycles? Sometimes we're afraid of the unknown. It may be time to face some fears and invite change into your life. There are numerous ways to break cycles when you get stuck in them. Here's some simple ways. Hang a new wind chime in your space and ask the wind chime to move the energies in your space and to bring in positive juju. Move the furniture around in one of the rooms of your home or office. Have fun creating a new look and flow in your space. Drive home to the store in a new direction. Find new ways to come and go from places so that you're changing the scenery and the outlook. Some big approaches to change. Create a bucket list of things that you would like to experience and do and start checking off the list. Change jobs and careers. If you're not happy or passionate with what you're doing, make a change. Commit to self-care and play in your life and find opportunities to be creative and have fun. Now, these are just a few of the things that you can do to move stuck energy so that you can move forward. 
Some of these are simple ways and some are big approaches. Choose the one that resonates best with you and start welcoming change into your life. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you really soon at Discover Your Spiritual Guests.